This is Code Combat. I'm working on Introduction to Computer Science, the JavaScript version of the course. And right now I'm on Challenge Master of Names Debug. Bum bum bum. Concept Challenge Goals. Your hero must survive, okay? Defeat the three ogres. One, two, three. Check. This is a concept challenge about variables. Ooh, these are going to be tricky. This is a special debugging level. The code for this level is given to you, but it contains one or more errors. Your job is to figure out what the error is and fix it. I think we can do this. Start the concept challenge. Your hero must survive. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. So a variable, just like in math, how sometimes you'll have, I don't know, uh, x plus 2 equals 4. Well, then x really mean is a 2 there, right? x plus 2 equals 4 and means x equals 2. x is representing a number there. x is really a number there. Enemy 1 here, it's not going to be a number, but what enemy 1 right now is going to equal, what this variable, V-A-R, equals enemy 1, is hero, find nearest enemy. So my hero will look around, find nearest enemy, I see you, and then my hero names that enemy, enemy 1. Now I can use that as their name, and I don't have to put it in quotes because I created the name within the code itself. It's not, it's not a string variable. It's actual variable, it's actual code. So variable enemy one now equals whoever our hero saw and named enemy one. And then we attack that enemy. This could be anything. This could be Bobby. Our enemy's name is now Bobby. You, or it could, just like in math, it could be X and Y. It doesn't matter what we pick for a variable. We're telling our hero right here to look around and then whatever we say is now that person's or ogre's name. Let me show you. See, now it says Bobby up over here because variable names don't matter. What matters is you're telling them to look around and find an enemy. So this one's enemy too. But just like I said, just like in math, I can put X and it's the same idea. Hey, hero, look around, find the nearest person, and that person's new name is X. Just like in math, except it's not a number. So... Finally, hero, look around, find the nearest enemy and that person's enemy. Except then we attack this thing, enemy three. And we never told them anything was named enemy three. So if we want something named enemy three, I need to add a three here. Let's see. Okay. Did that work? I think we are in business. But I wanted to see it. One more run through. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Enemy three, Bobby. We got them all. And victory. Mission accomplished. 